Here is how to prepare for the creation of AGI by David Andre. Here's the honest truth. Most of you are absolutely delusional. This is the poll I did. Do you feel prepared for a post AGI world? And then there is four different answers. And these were the results. 32% of you voted, I feel super well prepared. I mean, personally, I would only put people like Sam Altman or Elon Musk into this category. People who have infinite connections, you know, access to endless amounts of money. You know, they're at the cutting edge. They have teams of hundreds, if not thousands of people. They're actually building the AI tools. Those are the people who can say they are super well prepared. The people who can say they're somewhat prepared are those who are deep in the AI field, maybe working at one of the cutting edge companies, you know, AI research labs, or building a startup, or at least a decade experience in the field. This, you know, people in this category, that's where I put, would put most of us, you know, people who aren't that well prepared. And then the rest of the population goes into the bottom category who are completely unprepared. But basically, this is completely reverse to what the poll did. And there is only one explanation for this, the Dunning-Kruger effect. The people who voted they are super well prepared are at the peak of Mount Stupid. They have ton of confidence in themselves, but very little knowledge. So my goal with this course is to bring you down to the valley of despair and then lift you up to the slope of enlightenment. Here is my promise. If you watch this entire course, all six modules, you will be more prepared for the AI revolution than 99.5% of people, even if you are new to AI. So let's get on with it. Module number one, prepare your mind. This is the single most important module, because if you don't fully understand the ideas and concepts in this module, nothing else will make sense. So don't skip around and watch the modules in order. The most fundamental concept is technological progress cannot be stopped. See, AI is not exponential. It's actually hyperbolic. And this is why AGI is coming very soon. By the way, AGI is an AI system that is generally smarter than most humans. Boom, one exponential curve. The number of machine learning and AI papers published on archive every month. Next exponential, computing power doubling every 18 months, which is also known as Moore's law. Another exponential, the number of large language model parameters. And then one more exponential is the interest in AI according to Google Trends. As you can see, the AI search term also looks very exponential. And by the way, these aren't the only exponential graphs. There is more than four. So not only does technology always keep improving, but the rate of improvement is speeding up. Okay, so AGI is going to be created soon. But how soon? Well, look at this graph. This is the expected years until a general artificial intelligence becomes available. And this is the average of the experts. So if you look at the bottom, I mean, top left, you see that before GPT-3 was released, it was 80 years. Then it was brought down to 50 and to 34, where it stagnated for, I don't know, over a year. And then Google Lambda 2 brought it down to 18. ChatGPT brought it down even more. The release of GPT-3 brought it down to 8 years, and now we're somewhere in here, beginning of 2024. So if now the, the expert predictions, the average expert prediction, if it's finally well-tuned, then AGI would be created somewhere 2029, 2030. But if the error continues, you know, the decreasing of the prediction as, as it happens every single year, then we are probably looking at 2026, 2027 is when AGI will be created. And actually, this is the safe prediction. A lot of people think that AGI will be created this year. I mean, David Shapiro thinks it's going to happen in seven months. And he has a lot of metrics and data pointing towards that. All right, so we know that AGI is right around the corner. There will soon exist an AI that can do everything humans can do. But what does all of this actually mean? Ideas that seem crazy now will soon not be crazy. For example, in 2015, when Sam Altman and the core OpenAI team, you know, Greg Brockman, Ilya Satskever, Elon Musk and others, when they said their goal was to build AGI, people in the AI industry laughed at them. But no one is laughing now. Second, 
it means that AI will eventually be able to do every single job, not just the jobs that are easy to replace, every single job. Because AI will be cheaper, faster, and eventually better than all humans. So it's not a question of if your job will be replaced, it's a question of when. Will it happen two years from now, which would be really bad, or ten years from now, which would be much better. In module number four, I'll go into this topic in way more detail. I'll also show you how much danger your job and industry is facing. So once AI starts replacing millions of jobs, massive worldwide riots will happen everywhere. At least, that's my prediction. Every single major city on every continent will experience massive, significant, violent protests, I think. And governments will try to implement UBI, where they give money to people who lost their jobs. By the way, I think UBI is a scam, but more on that later. And some countries might even try to ban AI and make it illegal. So, we have to learn to embrace chaos and uncertainty. Everyone will feel this in the coming months. I mean, I'm no exception. Sam Altman is no exception. Everyone will feel this. There is no escaping this. What matters is that you feel less chaos and more clarity than everyone else. That's all that matters. Understand this. The smart get smarter. You've probably heard, you know, the rich get richer. Every, all of us kind of understand that concept. But the smart get smarter, that's a new concept I learned from Bellagi. Amplified intelligence, the smart get smarter, as they're best at prompting the machines. So since the AI will become smarter than even the smartest humans, people who can extract the most information from the AI will get even smarter. So that means the people who are on the cutting edge of AI right now will get even more ahead than they already are. Which means the ability to learn new things quickly is becoming priceless. People who resist learning new things are in trouble, to say the least. So if you find yourself having a negative reaction every time you are forced to learn something new, you will fall behind so much and so fast that it's not even funny, to be honest. Module number two will explain how to learn fast and who to learn from. This is also why community and networking are essential. The easiest way to learn something new is to be around people who already understand it. So surround yourself with people who are already preparing for the post-AGI world and your preparation efforts will be that much easier. Module number two, skills you need to learn. So information is the new gold, understand this. The post-AGI world will bring a new order of importance and not many people are talking about this. Things that will become way less important include your income, your degree, your past jobs, and your social status. Now, to be clear, these things will still matter. They will still hold some level of importance. It's just they'll be way less important than they are now. Things that will become way more important, on the other hand, are your ideas, your network of people, your work ethic, and your knowledge. These things will be super important in the coming months and years. So here is how to learn super fast. You have to train your learning muscle because if, you, if your training muscle is weak, learning will be difficult and you will be very slow at learning new concepts. Just like working out, learning gets easier the more you do it. So do it as much as possible. And here is an action step that all of you should do. Go to your calendar and block out 20 minutes a day every day to learn about AI. Doesn't matter if it's a new tool, some AI news, you know, some concept deep learning, does not matter. Just learn something about AI. 20 minutes a day. You can do it. Some learning hacks. Repeat new concepts out loud. Now, obviously this is not really viable if you're surrounded by people or whatever, but if you're alone, this can greatly enhance how well you retain information. Also, apply what you've learned immediately. If you learn something new, don't, you know, store it and use it three days from now. Learn it. Uh, if you learn it, apply it right away. And use ChatGPT to explain new concepts in simple plain English. Use AI to learn about AI and to learn new things. Because 
you can make ChatGPT your personal tutor. It already knows more information than any human could possibly do, right? And you can ask it to explain something in plain English, in a bullet list, in a paragraph, in a story. Explain it like I'm seven years old. You know, explain it in poetry, in rhymes. There are so many different ways you can explain things. You can ask it 20 times to explain the same concept before you finally understand it. And let's be honest, you would never do that with a human teacher because you would probably die of embarrassment, right? Also, another learning hack is employing the Richard Feynman technique, obviously a famous physicist, a legend. And the best way to learn something is to actually try to teach it to others. So if you learn something about AI, try to teach it to your friends, to your family, to your barber. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just try to teach it to somebody else. And that way you can sp uh, see gaps in your thinking and you can you know, remember something way more if you actually are forced to teach it. A skill that will be absolutely essential, in my opinion, is prompt engineering. Now, if you've never heard this before, it might sound intimidating, but prompt engineering is basically the art of writing text inputs or prompts. That's used for large language models, also known as LLMs, such as ChatGPT. So how good you are at writing prompts greatly impacts how good the results you get are. The same person can have the same AI model and get completely different results. This is why prompt engineering is key. The first step to be a good prompt engineer is to understand the model. Every model is different. GPT-4 is different from Gemini 1.0 Ultra, which is different from Llama 70B, which is different from Mixtral. Every model is different. Every chatbot is different. So get familiar with the one you're working with the most. Also start simple, right? Prompt engineering, as I said, can be very intimidating and it's an advanced field. I mean, people have thousands, if not tens of thousands of hours in this field. And there is so much you can always learn and there is more for you to learn. So don't try to be perfect, just start simple and then experiment. Try something, change a few words and analyze how the you know, output changes. Another skill that is very underrated and that nobody talks about is touch typing. In other words, using all your 10 fingers to type. So the average person types around 40 words per minute, which is painfully slow. And everyone, I mean, everyone can get to 80 words per minute quite easily. So using the keyboard is the fastest way to interact with the computer, which also means the fastest way to interact with AI. And sure, there might be some better technologies invented in the future. I'm not denying that, but for now, the keyboard is still the king, so master it. Also, be try to become tech savvy. So learn how to use GitHub, Hugging Face, and similar softwares. Master all of your devices. Look at every setting. Open up your phone, go to the settings, and go through them one by one. Check, see which ones are checked, see what is unchecked. You, you might be surprised just how many things you can customize. Also, you can start learning some programming. I mean, you don't have to be a professional programmer, obviously, but just learning a bit of Python, you know, variables, if else statements, for loops, that way you can see some code and understand roughly what it does. This will become very essential in the time of AI, especially because Python is literally the language that all of AI and ML is built upon. Start using a password manager. I mean, so many people are sloppy using the same one password on all of their accounts. And that's just like so risky. All it takes is one site one company to be hacked and your password will, will become in a breach. It will be put on the dark web and it, it will be accessible for a couple of dollars. And if some website gets hacked, do you want your bank accounts to be accessible because you use the same password, your main email? Like, come on, don't be sloppy. Use password manager. Also use software for to-do list. I mean, so many people write down their tasks on paper or try to memorize them, which is even worse. So like, Use some software, whether it's Notion, Todoist, ClickUp, Asana, I don't care. Also set up two-factor authentication to your most important accounts. And don't do SMS to FA because that's easily, you know, hackable. Do a Google Authenticator, actually the two FA applications that generate a unique code every, I don't know, 15 seconds or whatever. Also more tech tips are coming in module five. Another skill is to improve your reading. Like most people have the same reading level as they did in second or third grade, which is embarrassing. So get used to reading more complex topics. 
Make the habit of stepping outside of your comfort zone and reading stuff that, you know, you normally wouldn't do. Also, practice reading faster. Not, not just more complex things, but faster. And you, there is like countless techniques you can do, but the two most important ones are scanning and humming. A great thing to read is new AI research papers. And there is actually a large variety, a large variety of difficulty. Not all of them are like super difficult. Some are very easy to understand and some are <laughs> almost impossible to understand. Either way, you're going to learn something new. Also extend your vocabulary. You know, if you read something and there is a new word, don't just skip it, learn it. Go to ChatGPT, ask it to explain it, look it up on Google and try to use it in a sentence, uh, you know, some synonyms and stuff like that. Just learn the new words all the time. As AGI is getting closer and closer, more and more innovations and more and more changes are happening every week. So there will be new phrases and words appearing all the time. So if you can't learn or if you refuse to expand your vocabulary, yeah, you're going to be in trouble. Also, learn from the best. Andrew Eng, the founder of Coursera, you know, he's the guy behind Google Brain, an absolute legend in the field. Emad Mostak, the CEO of Stability AI. Jan LeCun from Meta AI. He's one of the three uh, pioneers, you know, one of the three godfathers of deep learning a pioneer in the AI field. AI Explained is a fellow AI YouTuber. He doesn't post that often, but every time he posts, it's a must watch. David Shapiro, another AI YouTuber, which has very unique and original thoughts, which I value. And of course, the Lex Friedman podcast has tons of amazing AI related podcasts. So some original thinkers who have great advice, Naval Ravikant, Balaji Srinivasan, Mark Andreessen, George Hotz, Paul Graham, just to name a few. Other notable mentions, Brian Johnson is great for learning about health, Michael Saylor is great for learning about Bitcoin and crypto, Alex Ramosi for business, Mr. Beast for YouTube and content creation, Robert Green for life and strategy, and Ray Dalio for investing. Also, you have to understand AI terminology. ML stands for machine learning, which is like the foundation of all AI. LLM is, stands for large language model, which for example, ChatGPT is an LLM and GPT, which is in chat GPT, means generative pre-trained transformer. And there are so many more terms like learn what they actually mean. Honestly, I might, I might make an entire course just on AI terminology. Also, master the skill of taking action. This is something I realized recently and it hit me like a ton of bricks, you know, it's no secret that most people don't want to work. They don't like to work, right? So those who do will dominate in the post AGI world. My belief, and I'm very confident in this, is that the habit of doing will be truly essential in a post AGI world. So don't be a passive consumer of information. Be someone who takes action. Luckily, you're doing great. We've already completed module number one, which is core ideas and concepts done. And the module number two, skills for the post AGI era, also done. But this is only the beginning. In module number three, I'll explain which AI tools are giving me an unfair advantage and which AI tools you should ignore. Module number four, I'll show you whether your job is in danger and how to see accurately how soon your industry will be automated by AI. Module number five is all about how to set up your life for a post AGI world, which includes personal setup, digital setup, financial setup, information setup, your health setup, all of that. And module number six, I'll explain what the next 24 months will look like and what to do about it. All of that and more is now available in my community. It's a private group of people who are serious about AI. Look, AGI is almost here. The world will change dramatically and most people are grossly unprepared. And I don't want you to be one of them. So if you don't want to be left behind, if you really are serious about preparing for the creation of AGI, make sure to join. First link in the description.